Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by DevTap. This is uh, a video tutorial on Action Script CS3. So, what am I talking about? Action Script 3. Um, and it's sort of like a basic little typewriting thing. Types a message and you don't have to have any frames except from one. And uh, yes, yeah, so let's get started. So, if we just go up to File, New. Action Script 3 file. Oops, I um, was just dragged that onto the screen. Right, um, the first thing we want to do is I've already done it by accident there. Right, let's go to our text tool. Um, actually, first of all, no, let's stop that. I'm going to have a black background. So if we just go down here, stage, black. Drag that down. Text tool, and drag out a text box that's the size of the stage. And I'm just going to change the colour to white. Um, so if you, oops, I think that is the size of the stage. Yeah, white. There. Right now, um, we want to just make sure that the text is the right size. I'm going to make it. And um, my font is this custom font. So if you want to get that, you can de just just Google that. It should come up in any good font hosting website. And of course, because it's a custom font, you're going to have to click on the embedding and embed it. So you can go through. And you have to just all the characters and then go OK. And then that's it for that part. You may create a new layer. I'm going to call it Action Script 3.0. And then press hit F9 to get F is it F9. Check F where's the window? Actions F9, yeah. So you can either click on the actions thing in the window there or oops, or hit F9 um, just drag that around, I don't like it in there right so if you make this window a bit smaller it's too big for my liking So the first thing you want to do is create a new variable. So with the bar variable, um, you can call it whatever you want, obviously, because it's a variable name. I'm going to call it text, which makes sense, I suppose. And then you're going to declare that it is a string variable. So and then equals in quotes your actual message and this will be displayed in the on the screen um, so I'm going to put a message Right, that's it, and after you've done that, you want your colon, and hit enter, then you declare another variable, and this is going to be, uh, I'm going to call it text broken, you understand why in a sec, and then you'll declare that it is an array, and then of course equals, and then text, Let's just quickly go over that. So this declares that my there's a, a variable that's string called text, 
and that's what the variable consists of, that data. Now this is called text broken because this line breaks up all the text. All right, the array is the type of variable it is. Text is the variable, is the object that it's going to be splitting up. And in here will be where it starts splitting up. So if I put one, it'll go one in and split the rest. So if I go, so if I press nine, it'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and split that and there. But if I have nothing in there, it splits it up into look. It splits each character up. So carrying on, we're going to add event this, and we're going to have an event, and it's going to be called enter frame. And we're going to call it typer. I'm going to have it capital because I'm awkward. And then I'll colon again. And then we're going to have a function. And this is going to be our typer function. And then it's going to be event. curly bracket and inside the curly brackets we're going to have an if statement so if text broken length is more than zero Oops. open curly bracket then this is where we need to go back over to our text box click on our text box and give it an instance name of the text well whatever you want the text I'm going to call it I'm going to call it the text and go back to our action script and inside d2 curly brackets we're going to have the text dot append text line no sorry text broken and shift Semicolon and come out of that. Else, remove. Actually, this piece just to copy that line and paste it there. Just change add to remove. And that is it. So I'll just go over from 3 to 15. Um, we're adding an event here called, and we've named it typer, and then we're adding the functions to the, 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 uh, the event. So if the text that's all broken up, this array value here, is more than zero, then in the text box or the object, the text, which is the text box, we're going to add the first um, value of text split and then shift, whoops, shift onwards and shift it. So basically, cut and paste it into this box here. And if it is less than zero, then we're going to remove the event so it stops. So if we just see how that works. Um, 
if I try. Nothing is happening because I've got something wrong here. Action script frame one. What's wrong here then? Oh, whoops. Sorry, that should be a semicolon. Now I can run it. I'm still getting a problem. So, syntax error expected definition of the word such as function. T Y P E R T Y P E R. Right. Right. Sorry about that. Right. Okay. So, yeah, all I had for here was the capital I got mixed up here. Um, so, this should now work. So, if I just hit Shift Enter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Now, um, as you may have seen there, let me just close that. It's the text just about goes off the screen and pops over there. So what we do to avoid that is hit forward slash n in the uh, string uh, the string variable, and that creates a line break, as it as it were. So that sort of works nicely, and a double. A double line break. And that's it. So, uh, yep, thank you very much for watching this video tutorial. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it. And, uh, yeah, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and hopefully see you very, very shortly. Thank you very much. Goodbye.